I've got 10 tools under $20 right in this box. I love them and I think you will too. So our first tool is the Tough Built Scraper Utility Knife. And this guy comes in right at $20 and it looks like just a normal utility knife and you can push it up and use it as a box cutter. It doesn't extend, but what it does do, you've probably never seen before. Look at that, that is so cool. When you put it up into the scrape mode, the head turns 90 degrees and that razor blade turns into a scraper. Now, I love this because I typically will just grab a razor blade and just use my fingers and you know, it's harder to get, I can't get as much force on it. So having this in the handle, in the utility knife, makes scraping easy. I've had this in the shop for a couple months now, really nice. And just how awesome is that mechanism? As an engineer, I just, I just love it. I could just do this all day, but I won't. Now, having a tool that can do two things in one is awesome, but you know what's even better? How about having a tool that can do five in one? Now, this is the five in one painter's tool, comes in at $9. And there was a lot of comments in the other videos about this one, and I do like it. So this is really just a modified putty knife, and so it's got a lot of little features on it though. Obviously, you can use it to apply putty on the back end, but it also has a bevel on the other side, so it is great for scraping. I use this on dry glue, whether it's on a glue up or on a table. It's got this nice little hook here at the end, which is great for breaking a caulk joint if you're removing trim. And then this is really the painter's feature of it. This little hook here is for scraping excess paint off of a paint roller, and it works really nicely. And then this end piece here is great for opening cans of finish. So we can just open this right up, and you don't need a little can opener. And those are the traditional five-in-one uses, but this is actually a six-in-one because it also has a little hammer end. And that's really cool because when you need to close up your finish, you can just use the hammer. And if six in one isn't enough, they also have a 15 in one. But honestly, this is kind of like the Swiss Army knives, when you just start adding a bunch of different implements and then, uh, you know, some of those just don't really make sense. Like, I don't think this would ever be great to have as a hex wrench and the uh, screwdrivers in here, which are four of the in ones, are just not something I would probably ever use. So I'm gonna stick to the simple six in one, but there's tons of different options out there if you wanna check them out. One thing I use a lot as a woodworker is glue, and I've got a ton of bottles of glue, and they kind of all look like this at the end. And the caps are always getting messy, and so when you have to pull it out, uh, it kind of sticks and gets gooey, and then you gotta pick that booger off there at the top. And also, as that glue starts running down, you start doing the old Heinz 57. I think if you hit it right there on the 57, it'll flow a little bit easier, but there is a better way. This is the Fast Cap Glue Bot, and this one comes in at $8. And no, it is not the younger son of C3PO, even though it sounds like 3PO may have been through a few glue ups in his life. We seem to be made to suffer. It's our lot in life. So, this is a really cool glue bottle that uses physics to put out glue. It has this main reservoir here, and you can just open up this top cap and then fill it up with your favorite glue. And the main part has this nice flexi plastic that as you squeeze it, it pushes the glue up and then out of this nozzle. And you can put on different tips here. So you can get a bunch of different tips to have them for different sizes. They even have little precision ones. And they even have a little guide ring that helps you center your glue line right on a piece of three quarter inch material. Here's some of the features I love most about it. First of all, it's just got a little holder spot for the cap, which I think is a nice little feature. And because it works on pressure, you can apply it vertically the same way that you can horizontally. So there's no more fiddling with having to get it up and shake the glue down to the bottom to make it work. And if you're trying to apply it and get up, you have to get weird angles with a regular bottle. But this guy gets around all that. So this next one is great for those of you who like to tinker like me. So I might have something like this battery that might not be charging. And so I wanna open it up and see what's up inside. And of course, that means a lot of little itty bitty screws. Or maybe I'm putting a new tool or jig together and I've got lots of little bolts and nuts and washers to keep track of. And that's why I love the next tool, which is a magnetic parts tray. Now this little guy is only $6 and you will see these a lot in the automotive settings for nuts and bolts, but as a woodworker and a maker, these can really come in handy. When I'm taking apart that battery, I can just take these little screws, drop them in there and they just stay right in place right where I leave them. And I could even separate out the different nuts and washers into different sections and they're gonna stay right there. So this guy is great, but there's also a little trick that I learned a while back that makes it even better. 
I don't ever really use the tray for wood screws because I typically have containers for those, but I have been known to drop them on occasion. So now I'm gonna have to play 52 card pickup with all these screws on the floor, but if I take the little tray and then take a shop towel or just a paper towel and put it over there, now I can go over and it will pick up all of the screws. Now they are all on the paper towel and all I have to do is put it down and pull the paper towel right off of the magnet and then put them back into the container. Easy peasy. Now most of us don't have the strength of Chewbacca and we can't lift things with our mind like Yoda. That is why you fail. But this next tool can give you some superpowers in the shop. So this is the Craig Panel Carrier. And this one does come in at $25. I know I went a little above the 20, but because this gives you superpowers, I think it's okay. The superpower this gives you is lifting a full sheet of plywood with one hand. So I work with a lot of sheet goods in the shop and this adjustable clamp just makes it so much easier. And it's really simple. All you do is bring it over to the sheet, push up so it locks in, and now, you can just lift it up with one hand and walk around the shop. You can move it around, put it in place, and do it all by yourself. That is adjustable, so you can use it on different sizes of sheet material. So if you had like one inch MDF, if you, know, you had a death wish for your back, uh, or all the way down to something like uh, a quarter inch. And you can also use this for drywall. This has been a game changer in the shop for me, and I've used different versions along the years, but this coming in at $25 is actually one of the cheaper, if not the cheapest ones, and I really like it. You may have noticed this great looking shirt as I've been going through the video, and this is our new merch we are just launching. It is called the Mistakes Strike Back shirt. So you can go check it out. It's at fixthisbuildthat.com. And we do have this new merch, but we also sell plans. So you can pick up plans. Anything in the shop that you see that's made out of wood or plywood, that is something I built, and those plans are available out there for you for digital download. And you can print them out and bring them to the shop, or you can access them on your phone, laptop, or iPad. They've got parts lists, cut diagrams, and step-by-step -step instructions. So you can just hit the easy button and get on with the build and not have to worry about designing it or wasting materials because we optimize the cut list for you. So go check it out down below, link in the description, and we appreciate all the support of the channel and for what we do. I bet most of you have a random orbital sander because sanding by hand is kind of a pain in the butt. But, you know, I've always thought these hook and loop things are kind of a ripoff. <laughs> so why can't I use the same paper to sand by hand? Now you can. These are hook and loop sanding blocks and they come in some different varieties. Uh, this one with another one comes in at 12 and this little guy is $10. But basically you can take that same exact pad from your five inch sander and then just put it on here and then roll it around the side and now I can sand away. I probably had this guy for well over 10 years and uh, the wear kind of shows. I actually did buy some new ones and this was pretty cool. I like this one because now you can use the entire surface of the five inch pad instead of having it come around. And actually, I really like the, the grippy on this guy. These two came in that kit together. These were the $12 and they do come in five or six inches. But I will say that I, I really like the heel on this one a lot better because it just kind of fits better in your hand as you're moving it. This one, and eh, this one doesn't, this feels like kind of like like a, a bad mouse. But this little flexible pad is probably the one I like the best because you can just put that on there and then you can form your hand. It's great for breaking edges on corners and it's also really good for concave shapes. So I can get in here and really sand everything because that's really hard to do when you have a block that uh, doesn't conform to the surface. I did upgrade to a six inch sander a few years back and so I just picked up a larger one. This is the six inch and it works just the same. I'm gonna be using this guy a ton, and honestly, this might be my favorite thing in the entire list. If you've been around the channel for a bit, you probably know I hate dust. So to go along with these dust makers, uh, we need something to protect our lungs. So sometimes I will use just a Velcro mask, a little N95 mask, but what's even better than that is our next tool, which is really a safety tool, which is a 3M respirator. And this is the 3M 6500 respirator, and this will come in right around 20 bucks. It may be a bit higher depending upon the sizes and when you get it, 
but this guy is awesome. Now, of course, you will need filters for these, but these are also under $20. Now, I use a couple different types of filters. These are a 2097 model, and they are a P100 filtration. So this is great for kind of the dust in the air that you would find in a wood shop. But if you're gonna be spraying finishes, I would also pick up a set of these, which these are the 6001, and these are for organic vapors. So these will help protect your lungs and keep all of those nasty particles from spray paint or oil-based finishes and all that out of your lungs. They even have a little topper on here that you can add some of that fine particulate filtration to it because these are really just for vapors, not for dust. So don't wear just this in the shop. I like these so much, I actually have two masks just so it's easy for me to have a one for the shop in the dust and one for spraying finishes. And you can tell this one's got a nice little paint job on it. Now these provide way more protection than a paper mask because of the rubber seal around here. And the great thing about this half latch version is that when you're wearing it, you can push this little latch here and pull it down and not have to take off the mask. So you can take that down if you need to talk to somebody. Chuck, what's up? Or take a sip of water to stay hydrated. So if you wanna protect your lungs, definitely pick up this combo. Now staying with the safety thing, I think we've all learned from Norm. There is no more important safety rule than to wear these safety glasses. I like these all clear little thin versions and these are great. Just make sure you have a pair that is ANSI rated and that they will stop impacts. But if you're really starting to shoot the dust out and especially if you're working with metal or working overhead, I would recommend our next safety tool which is enclosed goggles or enclosed goggles with a mask. The mask comes in at $19 or just the enclosed goggles. I just got these for 12. But I really like the extra mask here because one, it's got the whole Vader vibe going on it. Luke, I break for kittens. That's impossible! But two, just because it really helps protect anything coming off that cheek, especially if you're grinding, a lot of the sparks are coming up. And I've just heard way too many horror stories over the years of people getting a little shard of metal in their eye because it bounced off their cheek and under their normal safety glasses. So I'm wearing these whenever I'm cutting metal or grinding or any time that I might be working overhead, an enclosed goggle would be great. So you just keep everything out of your eyes and keep safe. And this next tool is for your table saw. And these are auxiliary fence clamps. And these are 14 bucks. These come from Miles Craft. And let me show you how they work. Now, the main thing I use these for is attaching this sacrificial fence that I use when I'm making potatoes and rabbits. So I can put this right on my fence and then these go right into the holes and then I can tighten them up. Now with this sacrificial fence and a dado blade installed, I can bury that blade into the fence a little bit and you can see the cutaway there. That's going to protect my fence and it's going to let me make cuts right up against the edge like for a rabbit cut or I could use my miter gauge and make end cuts like for a locking rabbit on the end of a drawer or something similar. Another way I will use that is I'll take off this piece and just have a little stop block so I can have this just one little piece and then I can attach this guy right here onto the fence as well. So this little stop block is great if you want a little bit of extra space and you don't want your piece riding against the fence. So you can go against the stop block and then after you pass it, now you've got extra space so that the blade and the fence are not binding that piece together and once you make the cut, it will just have a little space to hang out until you shut down your saw. Now, when I first got these, it was really hard to move and it was making this funny squeaky sound. It's a funny squeaky sound. So I went ahead and spun this piece all the way out and there was a bunch of metal shavings in there, I guess from when it was machined. I emptied those out and now it works like a charm. No squeaking. Now before we move on to our last item, I feel like I gave hearing protection a disservice because we talked about lung protection and eye protection. And this is just a bonus tip, but this is under $20. I really like these 3M earplugs. You can get a set of 80 for, I think, $16. I actually wear these when I sleep because my wife may or may not be a snorer. But in the shop, I like to wear earbuds. These are the Isotunes Extra 2.0s. I really love these. These work great because I can listen to music or take calls. If you don't like a wired version like this, you may like earmuffs. They have their Air Defender or a totally wireless earbud like their free 2.0s. Isotunes is a sponsor of the channel and you can use code FTBT to get 10% off anything on their site. And you can just put that in at checkout. I'll have a link down below in the description. All right, let's jump into our last item now. And you've probably seen these little grippy pucks that you can put down on your bench. You would put a little piece on it and then you can sand it or do whatever and it doesn't slide around. And these little painter's triangles where you could put paint or finish on one side and then flip it over onto the triangles and put paint on the other side and not mess up the finish except for little spots. Well, this next tool can do both of those. 
These are the Craig Project Blocks, and these come in a set of four for $15. I think that's a sale, though I think normally they are $20. And just like our first tool, these have a cool little mechanism that combine two features into one. So they've got a little rubber coating on the front and the back, and you can use those just like the other little pucks to keep your work in place. But when it comes to finishing, the secret inside is if you just give it a little turn, this little pyramid pops out with a little rubberized tip on it. Now you can put those down and use those as finishing painter's pyramids. Now I still do recommend grabbing a lot of the painter's pyramids because, you know, if you have a bunch of drawer fronts to paint, it's nice to have a lot of them that you can move throughout the shop. But these are awesome if you're only going to be finishing a few things at a time. And for basically the same price as the other ones, you get two tools in one. If you want to check out more tools under 20 bucks, I got a video queued up for you right there. A big thank you to the FTBT Builders Club. And until next time, guys, get out there and build something awesome.